Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Washington Nationals March to October. We are coming off of a huge last episode, a very good last episode, and we are in the home stretch of the season here. There's only like 17 games left to play. You can see right here we are a game back in the division. I don't think I can say that we'll finish the regular season in this episode. I feel like especially in the middle of a division race, they're going to have us play quite a few of the games from here on out. So I'm guessing we're not going to finish the season today. But we're coming in in the top of the seventh here against the Mets. It's tied 0-0. We have four hits to their three. Josiah Gray is having a really nice day on the mound, except for the walks. That hurts. And man, their starting pitcher is Anthony banda i'm pretty sure yeah because he's in that nationals jersey he was in our minor league system like last year all of last year he was one of the guys that probably could have gotten bumped up to the bigs but we never got the option to so he was just stuck there all season and he finally found a way out he's on the mats and he's having yeah a decent year i guess can't strike anybody out it looks like but we gotta take advantage of this matchup lefty on the mound rosario up Oh, and I almost right away did something good. I was a little out in front of it. We are coming off that last episode where my hitting just miraculously came back to me. And it might just have left to just as quick based on that swing. Look at who's warming up. How much have they regressed that it's... Uh, sorry, I'm going back to the pause menu, but it's Verlander and Kitana as relief pitchers. 67 overall Verlander, 68 overall Quintana. Oh, and I, I was way out in front of that circle change. Okay, of course Rosario wouldn't do anything, but now we have Luis Garcia. Man, if we had anybody with any sort of speed on first, I might have thought about stealing. Because I think I saw that Banda has like 21 pitching clutch. And Luis Garcia is Mr. Clutch. So if we had that runner on second, this would have been a good matchup. But now it's just 0-2. Oh! That'll get him up to second. That was risky if the catcher would have actually made that play. And we can't. I was too out in front of the curve. That was perfect. Look at that pitch. That's right on the edge. I can't even take that. No, don't put Matt Chapman on. No, don't walk him. Oh, this would have been a really good matchup. And it's Kiermaier, lefty, lefty. Do I leave him in? I only have lefties on the bench, so I guess we couldn't get that much better of a matchup anyway. See if we can maybe put one in the gap or something. Ah, and I made a good swing, and it's not gonna go anywhere. Oh, man, good timing with that PCI. That's heartbreaking. That's the kind of pitch that, in that situation, it probably would have been better for us if I was more out in front of it and had an early swing. That probably would have actually gotten it to get to the gap. And let's not... I decided to leave you in, Gray. Let's not throw fastballs right down the middle. There we go. Nice little grounder to third. And there we go. We got a three-pitch strikeout. And that one gets hit to second. We'll make the play. And all right. Good seventh inning there from Gray. We got to do something here, especially if they're going to leave Anthony Banda in this game. He still does have a decent amount of energy, but he should be easy to hit. Like, look at that. Oh, and I'm just biting on the curve. Hit it hard, but right to short. That one gets down the line, though. Ian Happ, he got the hit on the curve. Don't take the pitcher out. Don't take the lefty out. Don't do it. Okay, we get the matchup for Manessis. No, I dropped the PCI. That was right there. What am I doing? Oh, and I'm under that also on a good timing swing. You have to be kidding me. This is still a good matchup, though. Alfaro against the lefty. He can do damage. Oh, and I didn't want to swing, but they didn't let me check. Some of the pitches I saw that inning. I should not still be scoreless. We're going to go to the pen here. We're going to go to man to ply. They have two lefties up. And in the middle is Pete Alonzo, who's worse against lefties. Oh, and I 
Don't want to be leaving a pitch there. We'll take our out, though. Hopefully that's out of our system, because that same pitch we cannot throw to Pete Alonso. Man, he would not expand his zone. He swung at no pitch out of the zone. And now they pinch run for him. Okay, hopefully we can keep this one on the ground. Maybe turn an easy two, and then... <sighs> I had a problem there. For some reason, that entire outing with Mantiply, something was off and every pitch release was yellow. That's what happens when you get pitches to just hit for free that you don't hit. The CPU is going to make you pay. Man, that sucks because Mantiply, that like doubled the total runs he's given up this season. He's been doing so good. And there's another one. I, why can I not get the pitch timing down? There we go. And we get the punch out. Another yellow release though. Another one, dude. And it's just, it's missing by so much once it's yellow. All right, Sandlin, just get us to the ninth. I'm leaving it down the middle with him, too. What is going on here? Should have kept Josiah Gray in. All right, well, now we have to uh, put up two to keep this going. Are they really going to stick with Bando? They're going to try and get him this complete game shutout? Okay, I guess this leaves the door open. And I don't... I think that's gonna drop fast enough. Another good timing swing is going back to the same story. I feel like I'm timing up everything and I just can't figure it out with the left thumb with the PCI. And another one down the middle. Oh boy. And Garcia, that one might bloop in. Give us a little bit of life here with two outs. Matt Chapman coming up. If they stick with Banda, we've got good power, a good matchup. And they are. No energy. Oh my god, how did I miss another one? I was early. It's because, it's because now that he's out of energy, every fastball I saw up until that point was like 95, 96. And then that one all of a sudden is 90. It's like a changeup. And then I... I wait back a little bit more that time, and it's back up to 94. That's an unfortunate way to end it there, but I definitely lost that game. Can't blame it on anything else, and we're gonna get a lot of negative from that. This is the wrong time to rack up negative momentum. The Anthony Banda Revenge Complete Game Shutout. He just, he felt something that game, didn't he? So what's this gonna mean for us? Just don't sim a ton here. It's probably gonna flip. Oh, and it actually did. I thought we might have had enough to keep it from actually adding negative momentum let me play atlanta though let me play let me play let me play what is okay i thought it simmed that third game too but we we get to play at least one game and take one game from the braves but oh now we're down four and a half so they didn't lose that whole time and we didn't win that whole time. Wow, and they're just, they're putting me in here with no room for error. A 10th inning, extra innings, 12 to 12 game. We're the away team and we're gonna load in with our free runner on second. This is easily a must win because if we drop this one, then we're five and a half back with 12 games to go. It's already unlikely, but that might make it impossible. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get into this one then and hope that my hitting comes back gavin sheets four for five with two bombs is who's stepping up and we have speed on second wow both starting pitchers got shelled my god abrams has two homers also this is a crazy game what are we looking at overall here four hit game for sheets three hits for abrams two for Manessis, ruiz and rosario man i swear so many times i load in with rosario having a good game so he must just do nothing in the games that get fully simmed he even has a home run and then abrams and sheets both have two garcia's got a triple we have three doubles both sheets and abrams also have a double and man strasburg gave up eight trevor williams gave up four hits in only a third of an inning so i'm guessing some of those strasburg earned runs are from williams not being able to get out of the inning sandlin had a good inning but then kyle finnegan walked three hunter harvey came in and saved him so we were still looking good we had our closer coming in in the ninth who blew it oh man and they've hit so many home runs that the font is changing 
Or I guess they didn't hit more than we did. They just have more different players who have hit home runs. They've had three scoreless innings in a row out of the bullpen, and we can't let them make it four. I don't know if I want to leave Sheets in, though. It's tough to take out a guy having this kind of day, but lefty, lefty? I guess the only real option, well, they already took out Manessas, too. The only real option I would have is bringing in Alfaro, which would be good, too, because he has good clutch, good power against lefties. I just don't know, though, because do I do that, or do I hold off to use Alfaro until Abrams comes up, because he's also due up this inning, and he's a little worse against lefties. Yeah, you know what? I actually am. I'm going to leave Sheets in and then save Alfaro for Abrams if we need it later in the inning. And, okay, that's fine. I meant to check swing, but I guess there's no difference. Oh, my God, I'm late right down the middle. All right, well, hopefully that decision doesn't come back to bite me then. Oh, I... No! What? But look at the swing! Huh? That was such a good swing! Why was that nothing? 76 off the bat for turning on an inside fastball with a good PCI? Okay, well, Alfaro, you better come through now then that I saved you. Should only take a base hit. And that is not gonna get caught. Alfaro came through. The choice paid off. We got that free runner around a score, which is definitely what we needed to make sure we did at least. And we still have a runner on second here with two outs. And Chapman's gonna hit it out! See? That swing was actually maybe even worse than Lane Thomas's swing. But that one's a home run. You know, I don't have any reason to complain. That's a three-run lead here in the 10th inning. You gotta be able to close this one out at this point. 30 home runs on the year for Matt Chapman, and that one might be the biggest one yet. Oh man, and I thought Ruiz might have been adding on there with that one. Oh, okay. Getting hit on a two-strike count to keep the inning going. And Rosario, that's going to hang up. So a three-run lead is going to have to do it. We're going to have, well, I guess it depends on the matchup. But maybe Jordan Hicks, maybe Mantiply. And I think having a three-run lead, I'm going to be comfortable giving up the DH. We're going to bring Kiermaier into the field. We're going to send Rosario to play short. And then, yeah, Kiermaier can come in and play center and we'll forfeit the DH for the rest of the game. And that just means we have even more pressure. And yeah, three righties up in a row. We're going to go to Jordan Hicks to get this one closed. He does have a really good pitching clutch rating and he's been really good in extra innings for the most part whenever I've used him having that runner on second and everything. I don't know why that confidence is so low, though. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. We're not doing this immediately. Now they have the tying run coming up to the plate. He's going on this. I don't know why the CPU does that so often. It barely gets away from Ruiz and they just take off with no speed. That was a huge out to get because now we don't have the tying run at the plate. And Acuna just missed that. Kiermaier's going to camp under it. There's two outs. Come on. Say he went around. Thanks. One more. The slider finally worked, and it gets us the win, 15 to 13. The offense came back there just enough for me. And right away, we go back, flip that momentum back. It's going to be positive. I don't know what the schedule looks like the rest of the way out. I don't know if and how many we have left against Atlanta, but all we can do is just keep winning. Okay, and it was a full four. There was no lying happening, so that's a solid amount of momentum. I wonder how much it's going to sim here. We can't be losing games with momentum game. Come on. Why would you drop a game there? Oh, and now we're five back. So we beat the team that we're trying to chase down, and we end up a half game further back than we were. I don't know, guys. I don't know at this point. Five back. 
with 10 to go it's not looking like it's gonna happen especially with how the Braves are playing lately I don't know I think even though I know this is gonna be a shorter episode I think I'm gonna call this one there just because I don't want the next episode to be ridiculously short but we should be ending the regular season actually I'll make sure we end the regular season in the next episode um also just a heads up I haven't made any decision yet but it just occurred to me when I said finish the regular season in the next episode episode i do also like to play a lot of diamond dynasty and it's always nice when these march to octobers and earning team affinity progress from it lines up with a new season so there's a, a slim chance i might make the decision to push back the next episode until the new season of diamond dynasty comes out just so i can get myself some extra progress by lining up the timing but we'll see i don't know that for sure but anyway guys if you enjoyed this one today make sure sure you hit that like button for me as always but thanks for watching again today guys thanks for stopping by and i will see you next time <laughs>